What's up, Honest Con fam? This is the voice of Joseph R. Wheeler the third, the artist, the founder, the president of the Honest Con Foundation. And today we're going to do a little fun thing. We're going to actually go through my wish list. Yes, that's right. I'm going to literally show you my wish list of kicks that I like. And we're just going to talk about why. Let me know in the comments if y'all see something you've never seen before or if you dig the kind of stuff I dig and we got similar taste, because if we got similar taste, we might need to build. And you definitely, whether you have the exact same taste or not, need to become a member of what we call our Honest Con Flip Through Shoppers Club. What is that? That is an opportunity for you to go shopping when I go shopping, whenever I'm out and about and I see something really cool. And it won't always just be shoes and stuff. Shoes is a big part of what we're going to be doing, hopefully, because I'm just dabbling in that whole thing, trying to become a show enough shoe head and do a little reselling and everything on behalf of Honest Con and some personal sales. But since we're here for Honest Con, we're talking about that. And even if I were selling something for myself, Certain proceeds of that will go towards Honest Con because, hey, this is my baby. This is what I do. And we are a 501c3 nonprofit arts and creative lifestyle organization. So this is an Honest Con style exclusive. Let's get it started. Yo, so we're going to go in first on the app known as Kicks on Fire. Okay, if you're in the shoe game and all that, you already know these apps, okay? You definitely know these apps. So Kicks on Fire, here's my Kicks on Fire list. I got like so far 49 once and check out my estimated value, $10,270. I laugh because I'm saying in the world of shoes, that's like, that's a small bag for what I see y'all folks out here paying. I mean, I watch the Cool Kicks videos. I watch my man Fat Joe do his thing. I watch some of the biggest folk in the, in the game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to the ATL legend, Mr. Greg Street. You know what I'm saying? Greg, Greg Street be going hard. Oh my gosh, you be getting some insane stuff. So anyway, let me go through my list, y'all. So I saw these when I was at Got Soul. These joints are fire, literally. Okay, look at this. This orange is insane, right? This orange is insane, seriously. Okay, uh, these are the Nocta X Nike Hot Step 2 Total Orange. And I saw a dude walking around with these on, and I was like, dude, what are those? And he was laughing because you know, there's no way you can miss somebody wearing these things. The picture doesn't do them justice. They are truly a neon orange. They're not just like a straight up bright orange. They're a neon orange. And then that chrome is like blazing. You know what I mean? It's it's really nice. I, they're, they're, they're flashy, but they're flashy fly. You know what I mean? I don't mind flash as long as it's fly, as long as it's got some character about it. And they have another version of them. Let's see if I can reference those real quick. Okay, dang, I thought they would already have them up, but there's a there's an eggplant version, and I'm sure I got them somewhere on one of my lists. Speaking of eggplant, these are some of my other favorites. I found these out here. I like the foams. The foam posits, as they call them, I dig these. I first kind of rediscovered these. I was definitely aware of these shoes because I can remember when a lot of these all first came out. I'm old enough to remember all of that. That sci-fi flavor going about them. I like the iridescent ones, so these eggplant ones would match pretty much anything with dark purple in my wardrobe, so I love them. You know, they just, that's fly. You know, they, all these shoes kind of expensive. I mean, everything adds up, that's for damn sure, but those are, those are nice. Those are really nice. These here, interesting. Now, what cracks me up about Nike these days, you see how they got the, uh, I guess that's the company registration number or something at the back, and it's like a written number, like somebody literally there handwriting, put the 20... 820-4 and that's how you know they're supposed to be legit because that's printed on every shoe or whatever. I don't need that part. For me, that kind of ruins this shoe. Not completely ruins it because I still like them, but I wish they hadn't added that in. I mean, I, I, did, I didn't need that. I really didn't need that, you know, and I don't need it on the other side. You see the little V62. I'm like, what the? Okay. Anyway, y'all doing too much with that. Other than that, these are nice, clean, really unique pair of shoes with the way that you know the swoosh is such a unique design it's it's so simple it's so bold but it's so effective you know what i mean um to speak of you know we're gonna edutain you that's what we do here at honest con you know i've always said i think the reason why nikes are so popular in the african-american community and i'm african-american i'm black i'm of african descent directly the whole world is of african descent but i'm speaking of those of us with direct african descent is because in the history of human design and shape and form Africans being the first people on the planet came up with some of the first most impactful simple designs in their design motifs amongst all the thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of cultures, people over the time. You know, when I say millions, I'm talking the complete history of humanity on this planet. You, I always say we're aware of what's left 
and what has been studied. There's possibly even more. So that's why I get so ridiculous with that number on the possibilities. But the point is, they created that first, and that's in us. I feel like as, as human beings, that's in us to be driven to these symbols, those those clean, crisp, tribal style, you know, and this looks like a tattoo on the shoe. The fact that it goes over onto the sole, not just the body of the shoe that wraps around the foot, but also to the sole itself. And then they got the thick aerodynamic, like a really cool, let's face it, like a car design, you know what I mean? And then they're simple. They're simple, you know, everyday type kicks. Super dope. I like these. So these, these Alpha... Alpha Fly, three prototypes. Like I say, I don't need the elements to say that there's such a prototype with all this number coding and everything on them. If that wasn't on them, they'd be an A plus, but they still get an A. I like them. And they come in other colors too, so that's pretty damn dope. All right, what else we got in here? Oh yeah, I saw these that got sold in person. This specific color, lightly tread on one, bottom of one, lightly on the other. What got my attention is those spiked soles. That grip is insane. I was just like, what? What is that? Like, are you serious right now? Like, yo, that's unique. That's unique. So check these out. Check these out. Nike LeBron 9 Low Reverse Liverpool. Whew. That's a, that is a fly shoe. That is a fly shoe. Oh my gosh. The things I could wear with this, I got, oh man, that red. That, what I love about LeBron's, people are sleeping on LeBron's. Not completely, because obviously they keep making them because they are selling to somebody. But, I mean, people are so busy doing retro Jordans. And I'm a big modern Jordan fan. I like the, I'm not big on the, you know, even when you go back to the one. I like the ones. I've said it before. But I prefer, like, the 11s are, like, one of my all-time classics. And the 11s, 13s, 14s, those are mine. That's the ones I like, you know. I like the more sleek designs. And shoes that imitate that design. That's, I guess that's why I like the uh, foam posits. You know what I'm saying? These are nice, though. Yeah, hell yeah. Those are really nice. I like those. Shout out to those, right? What? Oh, what they got here? This is another color variation. Those are nice, too. Yeah. Why not? All right. So these here are just funky. All right. These are some funky shoes. And I like funky stuff. Okay, the, the, let's talk about the sole first. That lime and that red and with that zigzag toothy looking pattern with the red that reminds you of, the, you know, the tiger shark, World War II airplanes. And then you got the swoosh and orange. So it's a contrast. It's not red. It's going orange instead of the red. But then all of these colors are complementary. I love lime green. I like the emerald, like forest green. And you got texture running through it with black. Somebody just had a field day of fun making this shoe. Look at this thing. That's an experience. That's not just a shoe. That's an experience. Look at the inside. Look at the details of when you're putting your foot in. And it looks soft, too. Like, you just, you want to get in there. Your foot was going to feel real good up in there. I like this shoe. That's some difference. I like difference. Look at that. It's funky as hell. I got eyes on the back I see you you can't creep up on me and it's it's like and then you got the wavy it's just oh man they went all in they just they had fun they had fun making that shoe I'm telling you again this is some stuff that could go with a lot of things you could wear a family outfit with this even though it's red and green but it's got the orange and green still you know what I'm saying you could wrap family in these and be really nice with it I mean nice all right, now I say it all the time. It's one of my favorite colors, any color, any other hues, purple. So these are an easy win. Easy win. Look at this. With the gold. Boy, you talking about, man, some Omegas will lose their mind. Shout out to my, my homies that are Omegas. I'm not in any frats or anything, but I just know what people love. You know what I'm saying? All my folk who went to HBCUs and or, or not necessarily just HBCUs, because they got campuses that are not HBCUs where they have black letter organizations, but I'm saying their colors are purple and gold, so they lose it when they see this. This, this That's too much for them. That's They know what they're doing. They know they got, they cornering all kind of markets when they come up with these color schemes. Look at these, John. Again, looking cozy as I don't know what. Like It just looks like you're going to put your foot into a, 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 a puffy pillow or something. That's 
I just want to put them on one time to see how they feel. This this picture almost threw me off because I saw that orange and I thought that was the actually part of the shoe, but it's just a tag. I was like, y'all about to mess the shoe up. We do not need orange to come up into this. This is all about a this is a gold and purple and black party, and it still is. I just like I said, I thought it was something else, but that's just a tag. Some dope shoes, y'all. What you think? Hit the comments. Let me know what y'all think about any of these. How about my taste in general? I could care less if you agree, but if you do, I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Look at these. Now, these, here we go with the funk. I told y'all, I'm a funketeer. I like funky stuff. You know what I'm saying? Parliament all day. Parliament Funkadelic funky. You know what I mean? We, we talking Ohio Players funky. We talking, you know what I'm saying? We talking Sweetback funky. We talking, ooh, you ain't, they got to take it to somebody you don't hear all the time, right? Yeah, that was Sade's band. Sweetback. Yeah, but anyway, check it. This is the Nike Air Foam Posit One Black. It's like a fingerprint on the shoe but because of the relief like it's 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 kind of it's like it kind of creeped me out and at the same time it attracted me and it looks alien and because it's all black at a distance you're just gonna see a black shoe and when you get up on it you're gonna say whoa what is that on that shoe look at damn thing is alive it's, you know what i mean it's it's got an effect it's like a it's like a xenomorph from aliens you know the aliens monsters you know what I mean? It's got a, I don't know. I got a million words in my head for what I think of when I see this, but I like it. Look at the sole, like, it's pitted. It's got vents and vein structure and circulation. Some dope ass shoes, y'all. Yeah, that's, that's real stuff right there. Okay, we got some French on the back. Anybody know French can, can uh, say what that says. Uh, phone posits again, these are fly. Chromed out. And then the soul just sets it off. Here we go again. With, we got like a violet blue. And it's gradient. I love gradient. It's one of my favorite things to do as a graphic designer. Do gradients. So you got a gradient fade to that reddish. And then it fades again back to a blue. <sighs> that's, that's badass. That's ba and it's like two blues now. Check out from the tip to the, to the heel. It's not the same blue that it's fading to. It's two blues. You're getting two for the price of one with the middle in the, that that's that's flavor oh and then you got the streak going down between the strands right you see it you'll see it that's serious business penny hardaway classic stuff classic stuff that's fly hell yeah i wear those look at that look at that look at that they make you not want this is why folk don't want to walk in their shoes and they just want to put them up in a box somewhere because it's like you would hate to think one day i get a piece of gum or some dog shit I mean, you know, excuse my language you know what I'm saying a lot of horrible stuff can happen walking around in a pair of shoes in the right wrong place wrong time you know but that's fly look at that I like that close up of just that's a piece of art right there that one photo that one photo that's a piece of art right there that's why I like those things man phone posits are dope bump what you heard these here we go again yeah I got a lot of phone posits up in here y'all because once I realized how many colors they had I knew they had fly colors I've seen them in person not these but I've seen about two or three really dope pairs in person and lost my mind, so I knew what I was gonna find if I really went on a hunt for them. And this opened up a whole nother level of appreciation. These shoes are dope. I like lime. Lime and, lime and, and black, that's always a win. All right. Got another LeBron here. Got a low cut one here. This is pretty fly. I like the, just again, Using the elements, somebody's playing with what What can we do? We can do what? I can use what textures, what kind of threads we got, what kind of... Okay, I'm going to play with all of them. I'm going to give a foamy back to it, and then I'm going to give a textured middle, and then I'm going to strap around it. It's going to fade into the sole, and it's going to all look gel and transparent. That's fly. And then the colors, it just... There's a, there's a flower of a vine-growing plant that you commonly see when you're in, in the west of the U.S., in L.A. especially. I see it all the time when I'm out there. And y'all know what I'm talking about if you know that flower. And it's that color. It's that it's that particular magenta. The, this looks like that to me. This makes me think about that, right? It'd be hard to match it sometimes on finding it. But I have seen golf shirts that match that color exactly. So you, if you go looking for some golf shirts, you would probably find something to match it. Plus, I'm a designer myself. I'd come up with my own shirt if I had to. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. 
I love cool design, y'all. I like shoes that look like a damn spaceship. I'm walking on two spaceships. You know what I mean? That's my kind of shoe. Like, look at this. I ain't even got to talk. Just, it speaks for itself. Halloween, who's the freshest? Talk about orange and black, and then you got the silver. Killing it. Killing it. Blue, those are complimentary colors. They always look good together. And then look, look, look at the details in the uh, little pull-up strap on the, on the tongue. Got more color for you. So here's what you got to understand. From a getting dressed and color theory standpoint, and this is an artist talking to you, telling you this, so you can trust my words. I'm professionally trained as an artist, okay? Pratt Institute, but graduated at Atlanta College of Art, okay? Any real artist understands what I just said. That tone right there, every color in that tells you every other color you could wear with these shoes and get away with it. It's because of the hue. Some of us say, wait a minute, you mean I could wear like sort of a burnt orange? Of course, the burnt orange is going to work with that orange. It's not too far out of the hue range to not work. That aqua color is right down the middle of that tongue strip. Mixed in with like a almost sap green, which is, sounds crazy, but yes, you could wear like army sap green pants with these like you could get you some sap green cargos and and put them on with these shoes and be fly as hell still you know and then you could neutralize it with a black top because you got black soles you, you, you did you hear what i just said i just gave you look i'm getting all that pattern inside there they understand color they understand color theory these are other artists we're speaking a language common to us everybody else just buys shoes because they might like them, but then they be trying to figure out how they can match them and they stress out because they all they thinking is orange and blue, orange and blue, like the outside of the shoe. They're not looking at all these. They're giving you the key. It's right there. The key is right there. Your color key for everything you want to put with this shoe is right there in that little strip. All right. There you go, y'all. And it's actually a dark blue, but there is black. There is black. You see the black on the sides and the uh, in the arch area. It's a black, but the bottom is blue. And, of course, you can match it with any of those colors, too. That's just it's fly as hell. Like I said, just fly. And then you got, like, a... It's, it's that gold is almost, um... It's more bronze, okay? So, you know, it's different types of metallic. It's not just one thing, you know? What did this dude do with it? Okay, I see what you did there, homie. You see what he did? But see, this is what I mean. Like, it's still a dope outfit. I'm not dissing whoever this is. He did it. He did it. He sure enough pulled it off. Uh, he got a Warriors... look like a Warriors jersey or whatever. He went with the, just the obvious colors. I'm just saying, you know, you can do that. Like, I would rock that jersey he's wearing, and then I'd flip it with the pants. I wouldn't worry about blue and orange on my pants. I'd go with the green. The Army-style sap green. If you don't know what sap green is, look up SAP sap green. Okay? Okay. Anyway, shout out to the people who be on the site. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get ideas from just looking at their pictures and stuff and what they come up with. It's kind of cool. It's, it's a really cool site. I like this site. Now these right here, all I got, I got one word to say, Colorado. Season start, <laughs> Colorado. I don't know what they are. They, they something with, what's that got to do with deputy and police stars and stuff? I don't know. I got to look back at the name. They're LeBrons. You know what I mean? Again, for me, I don't even be caring so much about whose shoe it is and what collab. And all. If I'm not looking at it saying, ooh, I don't care what it is. But I said, ooh, when I saw these. Because I like the design, and I'm a Colorado fan because I love what Dion is doing up there, and I support him. I wear the hell out of these with a so enough Colorado outfit. Set it off. Set it off. You hear me? You know, and if you want to speak the company loyal language of all that, too, hell, he's, he's rocking with Nike now, so it's all in the fam and all that, too. Okay. Some more LeBrons. Again, fly. 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 It's like baby blue, turquoise, and purple. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the same shoe? Yes, it is. The inside is just black. <laughs> That's some hard. That is hard as hell. You walking by, somebody say, oh, man, you see that black shoe with the, with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, what is that? <laughs> you be like, wood grain pattern. And it's got purple, but it's like, I don't know, turquoise and baby blue. And then, wait a minute, he got, is it, oh no, that's just the other side of it. That's crazy. 
Hell yeah. And now y'all confused me because I said it's the same shoe, but is it? Wait a minute. Oh, that's a different version of it. They about to throw me off, but I just gave them an idea. That's dope. They need to do that. They need to do that. They need to make it like, okay, there is a black version. I don't know why that's in here with this one uh, slide presentation. It shouldn't be in here with them because it made me think it was all the same shoe and that this was just the inner side of it. That's confusing as hell, but they are dope. All right, what we got here? Um, yeah, these are dope again. I'm more LeBron, man. LeBron got heat. LeBron got heat, okay? The whole shoe series is just, it's sickness of, of, of the best kind. Not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. Look at this shoe, man. Look at the, oh, oh my gosh. Look at the bubble. Look at the bubble. Look at the, look at the orange flavor of the bubble area. Let me get that close up so y'all can see it. Look at that thing. I don't care about the box, even though the soles are dope. That is, I saw this and I said, now that's really cool. Homage to him when he was a kid. That, psh, man, how much more of an homage could you do on a shoe? That's crazy. That's, that's pretty fly. Again, they're just, they're almost, they're too pretty to walk around in. Like, I wouldn't want to get nothing on the face of young LeBron or whatever. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to disrespect me walking on his face. I mean, it's, you know, you can get psychological about it, but I'm just saying. It's cool, but it's like these are they almost too fly to be walked in, but they at the same time they look hella dope for the outfit, so you know you'd have to do it. Again, like, oh my gosh, that's fly. That's fly right there. That's fly. I'd have to see them in person to know that they are the colors I think they are, but I think I'm looking at uh it's like a blend between maroon and and uh, and like some orange tones, like burnt orange meets maroon really cool really freaking cool here's another version of it these joints here the sevens cut man here we go again with the patterns that kill me i love it i love that 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 woven black area how the swoosh comes across it is nice you got some accents of i'm assuming that's a red it might be vermilion which is like red orange like the fam you color i was talking about earlier uh, yo, just nice. Hella nice. Can't sleep on that. Somebody did their thing with it. Okay, they put they switched the laces, unless that's the ones that come with it. They might have some alternate laces. But you know what I'm saying? You can go bright on the laces like that if you want. Fly. Fly. You know, set it off. Why not? It's yours. Do what you will. And that's always another thing to consider about any of these shoes. Like, you think about it, laces can do such wonders on shoes. And you know, I come from the era where we first saw the first fat boy laces when the fat boys were actually out. To this day, I love fat boy laces. And I've been looking at that and thinking about all the ways I could bring back, not even wanting to bring it back for anybody else for myself. Like, if you like it, you like it. But I would do fat boys on some of these more aerodynamic modern shoes as long as they were neutral colors. Because a lot of the fat boys back in the day would be like multicolored and stuff. But if you just got like the straight tone ones, that matched the shoe and did like either a braided pattern of lacing or just a straight horizontal, just side to side, side to side. So that they create that fat block of color. You could do some, you could do some serious damage with messing folks' heads up, wondering what you got on, how did I miss that exclusive? Y'all don't even understand. See, I just all I need is the pockets to show y'all how to really do some new stuff. That's all we got to do. We got to get the pockets right for Honest Con so I can come out here and show y'all. You know, it's a lesson to be learned. We're trying to teach it at the same time. Edu edutain, you know what I'm saying? We teaching and we edu we entertaining and we educate. That's what we do. We edutain here. These are some basic fly. These reminded me of, uh, I like that. That's cool. Um, and they should use that more often. That version of him leaping should be the equivalent of the jump man for Jordan. It's like, why not? It's a signature pose of LeBron jumping. That's the first time I've actually even noticed it on a shoe, and it's on the sole instead of on the side. It needs to be on the side, you know? LeBron could have his own piece of Nike just like Jordan could, especially at this point in his career. He's long overdue for it. 
But uh, they probably will never do another deal like that again. You know, it's like they got it. They got to bow down to Jordan forever. You know what I'm saying? He keep the flag raised, but they're gonna have to start showing more respect for LeBron too. Cause it's, I mean, and I'm and I'm one of those people who says Jordan is the greatest of all time. Period. But LeBron may as well be right there. Him, Kobe. Come on, let's 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 show respect where respect is due. They 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 the next up. All right, these here, these foam deposits, lovely. Funky again, very funky. Iridescence, I like iridescence. Pearlescent color, I love it. Okay, love it. What are these? So another version, okay. Here we go, now I was talking about sap green. That's sap green, the, the majority of this suit, that's, that's an example of sap green. That's the one I was saying could work with that other orange and blue shoe. If it were all, you know, mostly that color, certain texture, certain fabric, what have you, it'll make you, you, can make, you can make it work. I'm trying to tell you. So I'm gonna run through some of these other ones because I can see my list is insanely long, and I don't want to make this video too long. But I just want to show y'all some more of the stuff I really like. I've seen these in person; they dope as hell. Really nice shoe. Again, phone positive. I've seen these in person. Fell in love with them. Woo! Look at these. Look at these, y'all. Hologram. Talk about iridescent. These joints here pick up every color near them. So you really ain't got one pair, one one color or two tone of shoe at any time. You got black and whatever's near you color shoes. Just imagine like anything you walk near, that's the color of your shoes because of the reflective nature of these. This, 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 that's just, that's, that's fly. See, look, he's wearing them out and them things got a, just rainbow going across them because of whatever he was stepping near. That's dope. I like them. I like them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, the shoe. This, this, let me tell you this real quick. That shoe could help you flirt, fellas. You walk up next to a lady and she got on a fly pair of shoes. You'd be like, baby, I guess we compatible because me and your shoes matching. She looked down and just had to laugh like, well, damn. <laughs> you must be my reflection, sweetheart. You know what I mean? Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I already talked about orange and blue again. Hey, where my Florida Gator folk? Y'all losing your mind right about now because I know this is, they made these with y'all in mind. They knew. They ain't had to do nothing but put them out and it's over. <laughs> these are funky. These are just funky. I like the way they did the whole paint. Uh, ah, what's my word I want to use? It's like the um, hairs of a brush as they dither out on a long stroke across a canvas, you know? And again, you're listening to the voice of a real artist that's done this. I live it, so I respect it because I see what I'm seeing and I know where it's coming from, from a fellow artist. Okay, here we go again. Texture, y'all, texture. It's like reptilian on the blue. Oh, that's nice. It's just simple and plain, but it's hidden. That's them Jordans, y'all. Jordan 12. I tell you, it starts at about 11 for me and goes up from there on some of my favorites. Definitely. Detroit fans, where y'all at? What's up, Lions? I rep, I rep with the Lions, yo. After this last season, even though it was a horrible end, they they proved themselves, and I was proud of them, and I know a lot of people from Detroit, so I rock with them for that nature, and I would love to have a pair of these with the right cap just to set it off when season comes back in and give a shout-out to Detroit like that, you know? Halloween flavors, LeBron's again. I can't help but think of Halloween every time I see a good orange and black shoe. And this one's got other colors in it, too. You got African patterns running all up in here. Golly, yes. I love them. Hell yeah. That's a win. That's an easy win. Come on, stop playing. LeBron got that heat. Oh, what I just said about them green and black shoes? It's critical. It's critical. Look at these. With the red trim. Glitter flake in the sole. Oh my gosh, that is purdy. That ain't just pretty, that's purdy. Got the red X on the sole, like just cross them out. I'm taking out all competition. Serious business, y'all. Serious business, I like those. Silver. I think we got a vermilion or is that straight up red? I think it's red, yep. These are dope. Falcons game day. Come on. Stop playing. ATL, what's good? Rise up. These here again. Back to the iridescence. The green, the black, 
bubbly, kind of insect looking. I would do some, man. Yo, put it like this. You a, you a Dragon Ball Z fan? Get you a sale shirt. Get you a sale shirt. You already know. So there you go, y'all. I'm done. I ain't going to uh, run y'all in the ground with it. Hold on, there's one I missed here. I want to make sure I speak on this real quick. This is some funky brown right here with pattern. Look at that. We got the indigenous pattern going up under the swoops like that. Other textures in the... I like these. And I like... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dude who knows how to rock brown. I love brown. I always love browns. All kind of colors of brown. And it's how you do it. It's how you do it. But we're going to make this video a little bit shorter than because it's already getting way long. And I know y'all ain't got the patience. But check back in with me. And we're going to do one for uh, StockX too. But that's my list right now over here. I hope y'all dug it. Hit the comments. Let me know what you think. All right? Holla. It's Honest Con style.